What is good? Give me a hell yeah. Ah. It's good, good, decent pop to start. Woo! That thing's crispy. That thing takes the cake. I'm going to, uh, uh, mucho agua. Why don't you get a thermos? Stop ruining the world with your well, plastic. You see, I bought all this water for the hurricane, <laughs> so I might as well drink it. Or if you just gonna, save it for the next it's just going to sit there for, for a year and then get tossed around, and then it's going to get warm plastic bottles, and then you don't want that. You don't want heating up plastic bottles with water in it, especially with the cheap water, because I'm sure this is not BPA-free. Say water one more time. You don't want that. <laughs> what are we doing? Uh, Cheryl, Crow's, Cheryl Crow's got a whole lawsuit involving that, so uh, you don't want that. Who should we talk about first? Uh, well, first, you should like, subscribe, do all that to the channel. But we're going to continue our rookie reporting. Uh, we'll do this throughout the season. Just check in on some of these guys, as we do on some of the live streams and other shows. But we like to take some time to group all these guys together. We just did uh, Dotson, Pickens, and um, who's the last one? We did? Olave. Uh, so Christopher just, Olave. Just finish up those guys. And today, we're going to do Romeo. Oh, Romeo. Where art thou, Romeo? And we're, we're going to hit Dubes, we're going to hit Wilson, and we're going to hit Burks in that order uh, for your player. We left, uh, we left Drake out of this one. Is we left he Drake the, out. We'll, is he everyone's favorite we'll wide receiver in this class? eventually give him your own wide receiver. Take lock over there, but is Drake still your? Yeah, I mean, he's definitely he's, he's not on this list because it just seems like he's already pretty much cemented himself as the wide receiver one from this class yeah. and pretty unobtainable to trade for. But we... Could talk about it, but maybe we'll give him his own show and put him up against yeah. other guys. But for pass. now, pass, huh? Just on the show. Oh, okay. All right. Let's get into uh, Romeo here. So, we got Green Bay. Looks like he may be emerging into um, one of A. Rod's faves. So, what, what's the? Uh, he doesn't hate him. What's the number say? <laughs> so, we've seen an increase. Other than a little, the week two was weird. Um, I'm not sure what happened week two. Um, week two, he was down in snap, target share, and route participation. Mm -hmm. But weeks three and four. Probably looked at Rodgers wrong in practice. Probably did. To get him the fuck out of called this him, game. Called him brother, and so he just hated him. Yeah. Um, I but, hate my brothers. Yeah, it's a whole family. Just, <laughs> Those are my brothers. <laughs> Stand up. Sorry. So we've seen, we've seen an increase in snap share, target share, Average depth of target and <gasps> route participation. Average depth of target. Look at him. I didn't even know that's what that, that stood for. That thing could have been even that average. That A dot could have been even bigger if we well, would have brought week, in that. Week two, uh, he could have hauled in that. Week, last week two, he yeah, had a um, uh, he had a Rondell Morian A dot of negative point seven. So it's really turned it around. Yes. Yeah. We've gone from negative Just point seven. I thought you couldn't get any dumber. You go and do a thing like this. Totally redeem the A dot. So yeah, week four could have been a little better. We had had the touchdown. They just couldn't go at Hall in. Like um, we talked about earlier, sometimes you just got to disregard. Yeah, I, I heard you. Just was just reiterating it. <laughs> um, but no, I think week three, little floor came out, said we're gonna get Dubs more involved. Um, and then week four it was nice to see him be equally or even just a tick more involved with the uh, with uh, Lazard. Seemingly healthier. They both they both ran similar snap share and route participation. Right, because in week three Lazard was out. Right, mm, week he two. Was bang week two. He no. oh Watson was out. Watson was out. Week one, Watson was, was, out, was out, and that was week three when when Dubs yeah, came in and caught eight for eight two. Yeah, right. Yeah. You so think, do you think when Lafleur was like, we're gonna get Romeo more involved? Is that okay, Aaron? Is that cool? Did he? Did he I have mean, to he ask has Aaron? to be involved. I mean, right. They need Rogers they have has to be involved. Yeah. So. Other than lackluster week two, Dubs has seen increase across the board. And then um, the A dot progression is nice. Look, you can talk shit about it all you want, but that says to me in this particular scenario that Rodgers trusts Dubs to be able to work the ball down the field. So if you're sitting there just wanting to throw the ball at the line of scrimmage, that tells me that Rodgers doesn't trust him. Let me get that extra PBR point, you know? What's I'll take it, one? but I'd rather have the ball thirty. I'd rather have the ball ten yards down the field than the line of scrimmage. For sure, what you do, what you want with Rodgers is both of those. Yes. Um, which it but seems that, like you might be getting. That middles out the A dot there, though. He's he's got 124 uh, yak yards, which leads all all rookie receivers. <laughs> there so you he's, go. He's giving you a little bit of both. Yeah. So, but Mike, I I think that with 
with dubs, I think that you might see some people trying to cash out because in early rookie drafts, he was going in the fourth round. Mm -hmm. So you could try and buy him. People like, okay, this guy who I drafted in the middle of the fourth round now would be going in the middle of the second round. Let me see if I can cash out here. Throw me a second. Yeah, throw me a second. You know what I mean? Throw me two thirds. Throw me, throw me a second and a. Th- you know what I mean? Throw me a, a player of that value where they got the, they got their little scratch off ticket in the fourth round and now they're going to cash out. Mm-hmm. I'm still buying because I think he's at worst the wide receiver two in Green Bay long term. Now the problem with Green Bay is what does that long term look like? The age of Aaron Rodgers. Age and willing to play to. football of Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. yeah. Because he can Agreed. still play. The yeah. writing's on the wall. We saw Devontae he didn't want to stick with Aaron. Well, yeah. he said he I don't know how much he didn't want to stick with Aaron or how much he wanted to go play with his college buddy. Well, he said he was like, you know, I, I know Derek Carr's going to be there long term. And he kind of put a two-year timetable on Aaron Rodgers. When but Rodgers, Rodgers could flip that and, and say, I'm going to play yeah. two more after that. It's just that's kind of how Aaron one good, goes. One good Hiawashka trip and you can totally change your mind yeah. on everything. Yeah. So, I mean, would you guys pay a second right now for dubs? Oh, fuck yeah. I'd yeah. pay a first probably. Uh, it's a bit strong for me. Mm. I I think that's I think probably the price to pay to play. A first? And I think if you redid if, the if draft, you set out a second, going in the anybody first. Anybody in your league, they're absolutely, I think a second's super cheap. Yeah, it's getting rejected probably. I mean. By the time we were drafting, he was getting drafted Wide receiver 52 in September in September ADP. Now, obviously, that's going to go up in October. I would mm-hmm. say it's probably going to be He's gonna in the mid forties. Yeah, that but even in the mid forties, it's probably going to go past forties. What month was that? He said that September. was September. Yeah, which means they did it like early September. So that's probably like not even taking into account many of these weeks. Sure, but that's, we we really had one. Was, we really had one good week of, of, of box score. One good week of box score. Two good weeks. 12 points is fine. Yeah, 13 12, point seven. 12, 13, th- 13, 12, 20, and then he had the dud in week two. Right. I'll but he hasn't that. been blowing it I'll up. I'll take like, that from a rookie. There hasn't been a huge blow-up game. It was right there last week. Yeah, it was. It was but touchdown. again, people don't give a shit about I do. what could have been. Yes, but, that, you're, but again, we're not talking about what someone who's reading the stats yeah. are we're talking about the we're talking well, about we're talking watch. about cousin jimmy down the street right. who you're playing one dynasty who yeah. everyone plays in one dynasty league we're not talking about the guys who are playing in 17 dynasty leagues i think that's fair enough but i think a second is far too cheap but i would uh, i would start with th- i would start with i would start with less than that to buy him I, you're not going you're probably not going to pay for that but you never know yeah you never know. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to send a second out, I'd be fine. You could start with two twos, probably be a little more. You could start with a two and a three, and see, that doesn't seem egregious. See if that gets accepted. I mean, I took him at, I guess, two eight, something like that, maybe two seven, two seven, and that was late. That was hype. Yeah, hype dubs, right? Um, and we got him in thirds and fourths, a force of a lot of early rookie drafts. Um, I'm about to start him over DJ Moore this week. Fuck yeah, you have to. Can't play DJ Moore. Um, first Packers rookie receiver to catch a touchdown in consecutive games since Greg Jennings in 2006. That settles it. Broke his fucking leg, though. <laughs> Greg Jennings. Yeah, no, Those I mean, I, I, I understand the fact that, you know, and a lot of stuff that we talk about, you know, you try to talk about it in a little bit more of a layman's term because sometimes I do think you get a little more... N- notable, notable pundit on Twitter today, I will leave his name out, said that he would start his offer for a second and dubs and a third. I'm not saying, I'm, I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. That's a fine. Like, you don't need to go One all the right way. The rib, all the way. Yeah. You should never do that. That's not how you should ever trade. That's that's kind of what I was saying when we did the live show. It was like, how much time do you want to put into trading? Because no, you certainly shouldn't start off with your best offer. Now, if, if you know somebody's in the league trying to shop somebody that you might want, maybe you come with a stronger offer off the rip. But, um, you know, you definitely want to work up to that offer. Yeah. You want to start adding pieces uh, in or... Yeah, if you're, you're not going to start off with your best and final unless right. you really... Unless... Unless you're Matt Sisko. I'd, gi- I'd give you 2-2. Two, two. Shout out to Matt. I'd give you 2-2s two, right now for dubs. Sight unseen. Um, That's less than a first, right? Well, yeah, for sure. Yes. Um, and, there, you know, there's a decent chance that, you know, I could probably be talked into a, into a first with, you know, a couple more games. But after a couple more games, it might not you might not even be able to get him for a first. 
Like basically right now, Romeo Dubs is what Christian Watson, what everybody wanted Christian Watson to be. And everybody was fine with paying a first for that. Oh, totally agree. Um, so but a 22nd first was, is not a 23 first. Maybe, maybe not. We don't know. There's been a ridiculous. I'll take a lot of these 22 firsts. Running back wise, 20, probably like, not. Wide receiver wise. I mean, the wide receivers have been pretty solid for yeah, years. I agree now. with that. I would um, agree with that. You know, and super flex wise, it seems like quarterbacks. I know we just had Riley on and he kind of said, eh, maybe not. But it seems to me that we're we're, we're going to lo- get five. We're, well, I, we're losing quarterbacks that are that seemingly are going to be good and ready to go quickly. In yeah, this well, I think season. I think we're going to see five quarterbacks go in the first round it, next it, year. It may be, um, but that's going to be off tools and a lot of uh, wishing in one hand and shit in the other. Um, so do and I maybe w- not because they're doing that less now. You saw what happened with. That depends All on how some of those guys this finish this season. It's been pretty rocky for that med- for the outside yeah. the top three for quarterbacks. Outside anyway, the top two. Um, One of them's hurt now. What else you got on Dubs? Anything? Any notable noties? I got a couple things. Go ahead. Um, the via Packers waiver wire, Aaron Rodgers has no doubts in Romeo Dubs. I told him after the game, I'm going to keep coming to you, and I'm proud of you. Oh, um, so oh just, he said he was proud of just him. a vote of confidence behind Rodgers. Um, leads leads the team in routes, 63. Also leads the team in first read target share, 29.5. That's via Graham Barfield. Um, so you know, just kind of emerging himself in, uh, you know, as Aaron's guy, and He's allowing if, if you get in the Aaron Rodgers trust tree, which Lazard is certainly in there already, yeah. Um, and I think that's a you know not a terrible asset right now. Um, if you're on a losing team, sell him. If you're on a winning team, maybe you could shop him or shop for him. Um, but Romeo looks like he might be emerging as the guy in this offense, and if that happens, I mean, it's going to be out of control. Um, yeah. Because you probably, even if short-term Aaron Rodgers is another season, and right? He, man, he looks so good out there. Yeah, he looks fine. Like dubs? He, yeah. Or Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers no, I'm going dubs. Okay. I'm saying he looks really yeah, good. He Rodgers looks, looks the fine. Yeah, Rodgers looks like Rodgers. He's getting behind. He fumbled that ball in the, in the beginning of that game, which yeah. wasn't necessarily his fault. He got punched out from behind. But the fact that he goes, if Christian Watson would have done that shit... He probably wouldn't have seen much, and they were like, oh, we're going to get Christian. I mean, we saw game. Watson. I mean, he had that 75-yard touchdown on the first play of the goddamn season. Sure. And then if, but if Watson, what I'm saying is like if Watson would have made that other play right there, he probably wouldn't have seen you know, a whole lot more. Even on, the, even on the Watson touchdown run, Romeo made the block to let Watson score that touchdown. Um, so he's just doing things out there. He can do the short stuff. We know we, he's got the yak that's leading all rookies. Um Aaron Rodgers was looking for him even after he dropped that touchdown late in the game after he beat the number one corner for the Patriots he went right back to him to get them down the field to kick that field goal so I think he's already right in the trust tree I think Rodgers is seeing what he was doing in the beginning of the offseason he was saying this guy just has a bunch of things that normal rookies don't have he just gets it and then there was a little undercurrent of how Rodgers is just mad with all his receivers because he's not fucking Devonte adams out there and they can't just look at each other just yet and everybody was freaking out about it and it's like yeah but um and i think they're having lunch together so i think we're good they had a lunch i don't know if they're having <laughs> i think it's lunch is lunch is he's having defenses lunches any any you know would you trade uh dubs for dotson you, you're pretty much out on a first for dot or dubs right now dubs so i think you know you're probably saying no yeah you're holding Dotson over Dubs. Yes. I think I would rather have Dubs. I think so too. I think I'm gonna stick with Dotson. I'm going Dubs. Dubs. Okay. Dubs. Dubs or or Mike Dubs. <laughs> Dubs. Dubs. Hey, you guys are all over Dubs. I have yeah, been. I fuck, yeah, yeah. And, and now I, he's just showing you everything you want. Uh, that's the thing, right? It's the same thing with Dotson, but it's just looking at Packers versus Commanders. The, the only you know? thing that gives me any pause for not going gangbusters all in is the Rodgers factor of how long and what what's going to happen afterwards. Sure, that's sure. literally the only thing that keeps me from jumping head over heels all in on this guy. But Jordan Love and Dubs look good in the preseason. The number, n- not enough good together. I'm not saying short term number data to get excited about it. No, I'm just talking about. I'm just talking about the cash, the the, the name cash. I'm talking about it's purely from a value perspective. I feel that Dotson yeah, is still going to sure. fetch you think, more than Dubs. I think that's fair. In two weeks, 
Maybe not though. I ha- I have to in one week when when Dotson's not playing and Dubs gets another good week with A Rod. Like this shit's just it, the, the hype was already building over through the roof in the preseason. You saw him jump from the fourth to the second round of rookie yeah. drafts, and now he's done nothing but show you that he can get behind defenders, beat defenders after the catch, earn the trust of the very uh, reserved. No, he doesn't trust anyone, and he's like, "What do you still have to do?" For what? I don't know. You were leading off with. I still have to. I still have to. I still have to take a look at it from the take away from the name perspective, and just okay the the value just purely from a value standpoint, you're gonna get be able to get more for Dotson than Dubs right now. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, th- I think I, I, I think like that gap closed. Percent. I think that gap closed pretty wildly. Yes, in those, in, in yeah. those even I guess before in those late rookie drafts that we were doing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but I'm not. But Dotson it's, and yes. Dubs were probably only you know three or four picks apart. And no, more yes, than that. yes. In the late ones, that, like we did ones right before the season started. I think I picked Romeo Dubs at like two five, and Dotson got picked at two one or two two. Yeah, they, they, the gap for sure closed, and nobody likes the commanders. I mean, and, and they still don't even want and to it, give that Dotson. Was, that them. was not the right value on Dotson at all. Uh, so right. that was great. That and, was, now, and Dotson scoring way too many touchdowns. People are mad at him about that. <laughs> like, um, All right, for sure shipping off DJ Moore for dubs. What about Elijah Moore? <laughs> I know you don't like him. So more for you because you probably you'd rather have dubs, right? So Elijah Moore kind of. I think it's. I think it's close. I think it's close for me. I think I'm gonna take. Do it. I don't want to do it. It seems like I would probably rather keep Elijah Elijah Moore, but I think I gotta make the move. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It's similar to uh, what's going on in in. We just talked about Jahan Dotson a little while ago. There, you know, all of a sudden, you know, CD Corey Davis is. Is a is a mouth that's going to get fed by Zach Wilson if he's out there. Garrett Wilson's already shown that he can command a pretty high target share. Now we haven't seen Zach Wilson out there yet, and who he's going to really feature and feed. Last week it was Corey Davis when he needed something. Elijah Mitchell was him at times last year, which made him, you know, higher up the rankings. Elijah Moore. Elijah Moore, sorry, um, but Dubs is kind of going to maybe be doing what Elijah Moore was doing last year. And Elijah Moore, I think could get back there, but yeah, I think I'm not out on Elijah Moore. I really like Elijah Moore. I think he's a good buy. I almost, opportunity I almost for think you could swap Elijah those Moore. two and then swap them back at the end of the year. Might be able to, you could probably get a little bit, something extra right now, like selling dubs to get yeah, maybe. Elijah Moore. I mean, nobody, he's how not doing a, anything. How about Elijah Mitchell? See ya. Yeah. Romeo dubs. Yeah. Dubs. Dubs. Yeah. I'm always saying his name wrong. I'm just yeah. going to call him Romeo. Yeah. I'm shipping out Mitchell. What about... Uh, Acres or Dub or Romeo? <sighs> See ya. I, I, geez. Now, that, after watching that game on Monday night, fuck. Oh, that's, not, that's unfair. Cause that's, it's not... It's, it's the unf- 49ers. It's unfair, but dirty. the Rams offensive line is wildly banged up. Yeah. I'm not just talking... Just, and the 49ers defense is yeah. nasty. Did you guys see in the, did you guys see in the Discord that they said that... Um, uh, Nick Bosa was credited with 14 pressures on Monday night. Ooh, That's love incredible. That. Um, Bateman or Dubs? Seems like you should stick with Bateman. Yeah, I'm taking Bateman there. But I think I want to go Romeo. I think I want to go Romeo too. I'll take I'll take the yeah. I know how good Bateman is. I'm I'm going with Romeo. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm sticking with Bateman there. You probably should. Let's see here. I'm looking at the ADP data. For How about... Uh, all right, I'll throw Miles Sanders back out there. Sanders. I, I don't know. <laughs> I want to easily say dubs. I might. But that's just maybe me hating Miles Sanders. I'm just all anticipating right, so an injury. Then. Yeah, that's a better question. <laughs> I like Josh Jacobs. <laughs> I mean, you, you probably need the running back. You know, you probably need you need a, a good starting running back. 
Yeah, I mean, we're probably getting a little too aggressive with, with Romeo. But on, on a rebuilding team, I got a team where I have dubs. I'm going to have to break that thing down. I'm keeping dubs. Because you'll never get a 20, 20, 23 first for Jacobs, you know. And you might you might already can get it with, with dubs. Would you? A couple more games, you easily get that 23 first. Which I don't know that I even want to do that. I probably just want to hold dubs. Like if you could, if you could swap, bird in the hand, Romeo for Mike Evans on a on a non competitive team. No, sure. You know, probably Nobody need a likes little. Evans. Probably need a little more. Nobody likes Evans ever. You know, to trade for Evans, to no, trade, to give Evans if you, away. If you're on a if you're on a bottom six team, you, you got, got Evans. Evans. You've probably been trying to trade him for a couple of years now, and nobody wants just him. Scored two touchdowns. Yeah. He's Still gonna be great. Nobody cares. He he is one of those always it's underappreciated wild. players. It's wild. In the court of public appeal, what do you think? I think you have to take the young guy there. I think I'd try to. You got to finagle. You got to finagle a little more. Um, I mean, I'm just looking oh, just real quick. I want to circle back to something there. Go ahead. So, with the MFL data for rookie drafts for all rookie drafts between July and October, Dotson's was going off at number eleven. And Dubs is going off as number twenty eight. Yeah, so that's that's pretty low for him. But I bet if you probably pump it, take off from probably if he just went August, yeah, to September. Yeah. We'll say it through yeah. Let's move off dubs. Sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going next? We are going to go next to uh, Garrett Wilson. Nice. So Wilson has seen, he's just not, he's not getting that snap share like you would like to see 100%. He's getting there consistently. Week one, he was at about 40, he's about 50%. And then we saw him ramp up a little bit from 61 to 61. He was banged up, missed a couple plays week three, and then up to 75 in week four. Um, had a huge week two with 30 PPR points and then yeah. 12 week three and then back down to 6.1 in week four. And that 6.1 was buoyed by a 35, 30 ish yard catch in the fourth quarter. So pretty quiet week four. Got to give you a little pause for concern about what the Wilson to Wilson connection looks like there. Um, but the route participation is there, 78%. And like I said, it was down a little bit week three because he missed some time because he was in the in the injury tent. And then he was at 80, 88% this past week. So he's on the field seeing above 20% target share. So, I mean, that's what you want to see. I think he's easily the, he's, he's the one or the two at worst there with the yeah. Jets. But my concern is is who is Wilson looking for? Is it Elijah Moore or is it Wilson? Right I now, it looks like it's Corey Davis. Davis. Yeah. Well, it was early in the game it was Elijah Moore and then late yeah. in the game it was Corey Davis and one play it was one play it was one play it was Garrett Wilson. But Small sample size a lot, of, size a lot was of unknown with Garrett. With yeah. Garrett. But I, I I do prefer the talent. He's shown you Wilson the over Moore and obviously you have the draft capital there as well too. Mm-hmm. So Drink. I think there's probably a there's probably a window of of buying opportunity for Garrett Wilson. Maybe one of the first guys that we've talked about here that might have a window of opportunity to buy. Not the last. Um, you remember that that thirty one point game though. You know, yeah, that was when it was like, oh shit, he arrived. He is as good as he w- thought was. We thought he was. He was worth the tenth got overall up pick in the, next in the, game. In yeah. the league. Uh, you know, we we saw what he could do at Ohio State. We saw what he did as a freshman versus Clemson in the national championship. Like we saw, or playoff game. Like he is who we thought he was, and it didn't matter that game that it was on the, that he's on the Jets. You know, the draft capital minus landing spot. You know, it's like, uh, but then it's you're watching that game, and it's like. There's so many good wide receivers on that team. You got Brees. You got Michael Carter. Conklin's balling out. Like, Zach Wilson, I don't know. I don't trust Zach Wilson yet. I don't, I don't know if they've built a rapport up yet, either Wilson, the Wilson, just, the Wilson rapport. I just don't know how he can sustain. It's going to be so hit. It's going to be so inconsistent. Because I think it's some week it's going to be whoever gets loose, you know? Yeah. The hot, then, hand, the hot hand approach. Or just whoever breaks a tackle and scores. Because any of these dudes can score from the line of scrimmage you know like and it's a 
LaFleur type system. It is LaFleur, just the brother. Yeah. And so, you know, and they have a stud running back. I don't, I just don't. It's just going to be inconsistent. Well, it's it's really just comes down to if we if Zach Wilson has some of the he has the arm talent and the abilities to support some hot to make you know viable options out of multiple um, wide receiver skill positions. Um, it's just a matter of if if he Ooh, can take it there. So and, many and plus there's you know much like we talked about Carson Wentz with Jahan Dotson. There's an offensive line issue going on in in New York. They're, they're down Looks to like, like their they're getting Dwayne left Bra- tackle. They're getting Dwayne Brown back okay, this week. Okay, so that'll be good for them, um, hopefully. Um, he, was, he was fine. He wasn't good. They can yeah, get uh, rid of Corey Davis real cheap after this season. Which maybe they will. Um, they'll yeah. have to pay him $10 million or cut him for 600000 dead. Yeah, so maybe maybe they get rid of Corey Davis after yeah. this year. Um, Seems pretty likely. They could also re-sign him on the low. Sure. You know, extend yeah. him, restructure, because he's – kind of revamped his career a little but, bit there, I mean but. they've done a good job of surround they tried to revamp that offensive line unfortunately they yeah, suffered but. some cluster injuries to one position and they've surrounded Zach Wilson with all the talent that he needs to to possibly succeed you saw Tua take a step forward obviously the you know the coaching uh and the scheme fit was was nice for Tua here um it's the first time last year was the first time that le- this LaFleur had been calling plays, yeah. so he had to settle in. Um, I think the Jets, you know, they could be a, an, an okay team here. Yeah. Uh, it's just, you know, unfortunately. They're, fris- Zach, they're frisky. Yeah. Unfortunately, Zach Wilson missed time with a, a knee injury through the preseason. Um, and he's, he's probably going to be up and down here for a little while, and you're probably going to have to deal with it. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing from Garrett Wilson. I think probably he would he would have been my number one guy if he had he not gone to the jets potentially because i just didn't like the landing spot but i thought that he had maybe the best all-around skill set out of all right. these guys like could he take could the do, top off could yak it kind of do everything Under- all the other guys had yak. yeah other yeah, parts sure. and pieces yeah good, obviously good contested catch and i don't think anyone's panicking on wilson after after that week too you can't be like you can't be like oh i'm panicking because he just scored 30 points two weeks ago right yeah, I mean, I think the people that have Wilson took him because they liked his talent and they didn't yeah. care about the landing spot. And then they got rewarded and saw that it didn't matter about the landing spot. He still had a pretty high ceiling potential. And to show it that early in his young career with oh, he Flacco. Uh, you Ho- know. Hollywood or Garrett Wilson? I was going to ask that. <sighs> had him ranked around the same preseason. I think I'd... S- Still take. I had Wilson ranked above him before the season, so I'll stick Hollywood. Christian Kirk. I think you got to pivot to Gary Wilson. There seems like it wouldn't be the worst to maybe try to sell Christian Kirk for Garrett Wilson. Not see, this see week. How mu- but see how much more. Yeah, come back had, after either, the either rain had, game. Either of them had a great week, so Let's see how much more it takes to get from Kirk to Wilson. Yeah, I know he'll take. Garrett over Elijah because he already did yes. that. Yeah. What Let's, about you, Case? Um, I want to still stick with Elijah. Um, how about pivoting off Mike Evans? Yeah, yeah. I think if you could, I think, t- yeah, I think, yeah. you're basically turning Mike Evans into a 22 first if you can get any of these wide receivers, and you couldn't do that prior to the draft. So now, if you can buy a little bit of a dip, you probably should pivot off Mike Evans if you can. It's just because it's just. Like we Mike, Evans Mike Evans, we Mike, so Evans hard is, to, Mike Evans is being Mike Evans. He's a baller, man. He's yeah. fucking stud. Like I don't know why he gets disrespected, but you can't ever get anything. He's for not him. sexy. Like but he's not sexy. He is, he, he, though. I don't he, know he's, why. Like, he, he, is. He'll be, he goes. He's six, not. The six, problem is, three, is like the consistency throughout the career. Downs. It's it's always so high and then so low and then miss a game. It's like always. Well, maybe he stopped fighting the Sean, Marshawn Lattimore. <laughs> well, that, man, that motherfucker probably said something like, "Mike Evans doesn't fuck around." So like. Except he's with Marshawn Lattimore. He's yeah. not a dickhead. He hates, so it must he be Lattimore hates must be Marshawn Lattimore. Damian Pierce or something. Garrett Wilson. What's the eye flutter for? He hates Damian Pierce no matter well, how good he's playing on the field. What do you think? What do you think, kid? I'm still sticking with Wilson. What are you doing? I'll probably stick with Wilson. I'm taking Pierce. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Okay. And who's got anything else? Any anything? What you got? 
Let's see who... Bateman or Garrett Wilson? I had Bateman ahead of him preseason, so... I'm stick going with Garrett. I might, I might stick with Bateman. It's just like the the few catches we've seen that, that like from Bateman, because it's not like he's shown right. sustainable fantasy it's, value. It's, he hasn't even just, been able to stay on the fucking well, field. Yeah, he's just been he's been a little hurt, but I mean, I think. But even when he's been playing, it's not like he's been lighting it up. He had that one awesome run after the catch where he beat yeah. everybody. I didn't know he was that fast. I, I don't love I don't love the offense over there in in Baltimore for for your. For your receiver, but I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna stick with the with the number one over there for another little bit here. Let me have Garrett. Not saying that I wouldn't pivot. It's close. I, I probably should. Um, Is Garrett the number two wide receiver in this rookie class for y'all? No. Um, would you pivot off Dalvin Cook for Garrett Wilson? Let me get a good Dalvin Cook game and then a little bit more for Garrett Wilson. <laughs> Yeah, I th- man, Dalvin's just so good. Um, just getting up there, you know. Yeah, and then he's a running back, an old running backs. It's so early to be throwing up all these trades, but I mean, and I know you know this is just what but I know. See, this is what you people want to hear. Yeah, so but it's like not the like, shows that y'all are watching, yeah, like they're not telling you any so of this would shit. You they're just like, yeah, I would trade for this guy, and then that's it. They move along, and that's how they get out of here and not talk about a guy for twenty straight minutes. But so, like that's just what we do. We're actually giving you tangible fucking scenarios and going through a list of fucking rankings and players for your pleasure. Like this is fucking awesome. It's grueling, and I'm ready to get the fuck out of here. But this is actually fucking fucking beneficial dynasty analysis hit the goddamn subscribe button so players going around um no this is september's adp data i or wilson wilson mm, let me it. just pivot off of the let me get wilson man i i i i, I don't I wanna, think you can do I that i want to keep i want to i want to keep i want to keep i think what are you but waiting for a quarterback it's gonna be waiting for a little while James? Gotta wait. Garrison could, Garrett Wilson could be on his way to superstar. Jameson or sure. You get a I mean, you probably should pivot, but I. Okay. Jameson or Wilson. Jameson. That I think quick, that's close. That quick. Jameson over Wilson. That quick. I'd have I'm to unscared that of Jameson one. Williams and the landing spot. I mean, anymore. yeah, me too. Jameson Williams 2021 tape was Jameson good. Williams healthy is the number one draft pick of wide receivers in this yeah. class. I think. I think you're right there. Over Drake. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm saying Jameson. in the NFL draft, like in the actual NFL draft, I think if Jamison Williams is healthy and runs through that, first of all, Alabama probably wins the national championship. Jamison Williams is probably the reason why. And he just continues just to be going through his, the fucking His roof. meteoric rise. Um, I don't know if they win, but it's definitely I think they a fucking completely win. different game. He's such a game breaker. He's such a changer of what completely goes on in that field. changes what you have to worry about. Um, they, sure. they had nothing. That's why Alabama and lost. was out. Sure, but Alabama loses that game because they don't have any explosion from the receivers. How dare you talk about Slade Bolden like that? <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah, I'll take Jameson. Um, I think I think everyone's probably Devonta over Wilson. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know how good Garrett Wilson can be, and I know in, in six more weeks it could be like my opinion could change, but I'm doing off the body here's of work a, and what I'm here's doing an with right now. one. Keenan Allen or Wilson? I'll pivot off of Keenan for Wilson. Yeah. Well, given the body of work, I don't, then why not get, take ba- Why not ship off Bateman for Wilson? I like Bateman, but you said given the body of work and doing, dealing with what you've got here, like you haven't the body of work for Bateman in the NFL isn't great. It's not bad either, and he's the number one on this team. Like Garrett Wilson could easily be the number one maybe, here, but he's not. It's dynasty. I mean, it is dynasty. So it's dynasty with Bateman too. I mean, yeah. I didn't say that it was so far away with Bateman and Wilson. I just said I'm going to stick with Bateman for another couple of weeks and see what happens here. Yeah, but Devonta, I think that's. I, probably, I wouldn't say pretty easily Devonta, I'd but I take Devonta I'd, Smith. I'm sticking with yeah. Devonta there. Yeah, me too. And the only reason I'm I would stick with Devonta Smith is because I feel a little bit better about the Eagles, and, and how being able not, to involve. How can you not being able to inv- get involved more than just one player on the wide receiver 
half of the ball. Yeah. And he's still so young. Busted the sizest haters. Remember, he couldn't I mean, be any good because he's small. He really, I mean, judging on the body of work, he hadn't done anything either, really. So there was two great weeks in a sure. row. Sure. <laughs> All right, we got one more guy to get to. We do. Let's do it. And that one would be former wide res- rookie wide receiver one, Traylon Burks. <laughs> so, wop, 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 more like that. He really let us down. I think the Titans have kind of let themselves down. Uh, yeah. Embarrass yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we haven't. I mean, Burks' best week so far has been 8.7 points. Right. There were some good metrics yes, throughout. First, yep. Gotta love that. 19 A dot week one. Boom. Just week, week down, one, though. Just week one. Other than that, the highest was 11.5. But he's Must out. not be any good. He's out there. He's yeah. running routes. He's on the field, but now he's got turf toe. Right. He's not running very many routes, though, right? They won't let him. But really they're none do of much. none of them running very many routes. He was he was leading the team in routes like the last two types weeks. Different of routes, like he's just running like but here's, slants. But here's the here's the thing I think that you're failing That's to miss. Fine. You're failing to miss with Traylon is he's almost learning a new position. Wide receiver. Yes, he was running most of his routes in line or in the backfield at Arkansas. Yeah, I don't know what's the slot percentage. Uh, is that straight facts? Is that? I saw a number the other day where he was lined up in the he was lined up in line or in the backfield. It on, was a big slot. On, yeah. On what? In, our, in Arkansas. In, in Arkansas. No, like you you're about to give me a percentage of. It was a lot. It was a lot more than I thought it was. I don't have the like I, one wish, third, two thirds. Was, yeah, which is was, why I'm fine with if you want to hit him with screens, some deep shots, and some slants. That's fine. I, that's what I want out of trail. I want the ball in his hands. Like that's that's the best attribute he has. Yeah, for sure. He's a running back with the ball in his hands. But then they're not they're not using him like that. Exactly, because he's learning a new basically he's learning a new position. They're not getting any use from any wide receiver as his slot as percentage also. is nineteen point eight for the year. And he's right. out wide seventy nine percent of the time he's in line right. once. So he's Essentially he's saying they're not using they're they're using him more than other receivers, but they're not really using any receiver like Aggressively, yeah. I mean, he's yeah, he's run eighty-one pass routes so far, right? Yeah, the I Titans mean, are the Titans are the Titans. It, it was a, it was a slow a slow start in the off season. It was a slow start in the regular season. He had a couple of, of good metrics that people like to see. They thought maybe this was the breakout game because it seemed like it was maybe leading up to that. But you know, a little banged up, and then they get the ground game rolling. Yeah, um, this week finally they look like what the Titans have been looking like the last couple of years yeah only 16 targets so far on the year and the you know aj brown is clearly a much better wide receiver and able to do you know a lot more with a lot little a lot less um than than what Traylon can do currently now i don't think they've done the best job of getting the ball in Traylon's hands um but i also think that uh the head coach is is a little bit old school approach of you got to earn you know some of that even though you know it could be at the detriment of our team a little bit to start the season off of uh how it goes so yeah he's he's only he's he's basically there's 23 slot snaps compared to 99 out wide so far this year for Traylon in the nfl and then like in 2021 he had 132 snaps out wide compared to 529 in the slot yeah that's Only thirty six and nineteen in the backfield or in line, comparatively speaking. But I mean, mostly in the slot by a heavy margin, and now he's moved out wide in the NFL. So yards per route run so far this year, he's tied with Michael Pittman. Yeah, yeah. Is I mean, that there's, good? Yeah, there's, there's, I mean, there's good for forty fourth in the league. There's things, there's so things no. there, and there's bits and pieces. Right now, it doesn't feel great. No, it certainly does not feel great. I think. I think if you're the casual dynasty owner, you might be panicking now because you're not seeing the box score. He's hurt right now. There's other rookie wide receivers who are coming out and wouldn't say balling, but they're coming out and they're showing why a lot of these rookie wide receivers were going where they were. And now you're going to be good putting up goose eggs or going into IR spot for Burks. I think yeah. it's probably better if he goes in IR than people getting to stash one IR versus just having him sitting on your bench for the next couple of weeks with his turf toe so how do you not go on ir with turf toe that's pretty 
Must be a slight case of it. Yeah, they said he didn't need surgery, so. He will if they rush him. Yeah. Because that's like, that's usually a season-ending thing. Like a uh, real turf, though. Guys play with weeks. it. The, sometimes they'll get shoes made, inserts. Mm-hmm. Orthotics. Um, but what are we doing with, with Burks long term? I mean, term? you can't are, are you, sell. Certainly not. Well, I mean, so if somebody offered you two twos to get out of Burks, would you? No. I don't think so. No. Not right Pretty now. much any of the other... You're getting wi- your wishes, so any, sit down. Any of the other wide receivers that we talked about tonight, would you swap out for Burks? Yeah. Yeah, I all think so. Them. Probably all, probably all, a decent amount of them. All of them. I think he's got to be at the bottom of the list of these six guys we just talked about. Um, I'd still take him over Dubs. Okay, fair Let enough. Let me get Dubs. Let me, luckily, the team I drafted him on, I have Dubs as well. So you know, it's one of those that, things... But. <laughs> where you're living in you could you could live in in your like I really like Burks I, I think we haven't even gotten a chance to see exactly what he can do. exactly um, and I think his value is insulated as a as a 21 year old wide receiver first round pick yeah um, but so is I, his so value insulated because once you run a bad 40 the people were out he was he's still a first round like he's still a first he's still round a first pick. round draft pick so in the NFL. and they hated him who hated you know? him? Who a hated lot of him? people didn't like Dotson. Oh, like it, fantasy drafters. Right. They just had him pushed down the board. Okay. Um, no, I mean, I think I don't, I don't think that like he'll stay in the top fucking 20 of dynasty wide receivers drafted yeah, in the startup uh, yeah. next year, but I don't think he'll like completely fall out of grace. And really, all he would need is, you know, a couple of okay games on the back half of this stretch here. Um, just score some touchdowns, just, maybe hit a long one. Well, the only, I think what doesn't. I think we need to see something. Show that locomotive. Right. You got to see nature. the, you know, yeah, exactly. I, I agree. You got to see either a big catch or him with the ball in his hands, running over people, running past people. Um, you know, it just has been the, the, the feeling of bust is in the air. And it, I think it's mostly because of the way the whole off season went. It was, you know, the conditioning and then the asthma and then this yeah. and then that. And then, you know, coming in and being a little hurt here and there, and now he's hurt again, and it hasn't really, it didn't really do anything. To be fair, the Titans weren't really doing anything. Um, yeah, I mean, he was going off in September as wide receiver thirty-six. We'll probably see a dip in that in October's data. So you know, if you could, if I could swap him out for for Pickens, I would. Oh, I think I, I don't think you can make that trade though. I think no, I no, no, no. I'm just saying for me personally, but I. I I, that's that's a pretty strong hold for me. I mean, I guess if you could say Olave, maybe. I think you got to take all those guys. I mean, it, yeah, you do right now in the in a reactionary of this is what I've seen, and you probably should. But for me, I think I'm just gonna. I, that's a really hold tight for me, and it's maybe it's a bad move, and maybe you should have pivoted as quickly as you could and get what you can. Um, but but he was still a guy who was going in the top five of rookie drafts. I right. Mean, you're just going to cut bait already? No, I'm not. I'm not either. You definitely can't cut bait, but if I could switch them out for I'm any of those guys him. that are already showing me that they can play in the NFL then and their team will use them, I would take all the guys we talked about in this rookie report yeah. over Traylon. I'm not, I'm, I'm not pushing them out of the first round of a rookie redraft of the 22 class, I don't think. You're taking Pierce for sure. I mean, you'd 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 Damian you'd, Pierce. Got it. You basically have them all the way down at eight right now, because we got six guys here and Drake. Drake so that'd be and eight. Brees. Brees nine. So Damian he's a, Pierce. Are you taking him over Damian Pierce? No, I'll take Pierce. You're taking Pierce, so you almost got him out of the first round. That's ten. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying I still yeah. two more spots. I mean, still who, two more spots. He's Jameson. definitely towards the end. Hit Jameson. <laughs> 11. Let's see if we can get him out of the 12. Well, it would be Sky Moore. And I'll take Burks. I'll take Burks still there, too, for um, sure. Christian Watson, I'll take Burks. Yeah, so, I mean, you're probably not going to get him Cook, out of Kenny Walker. Burks. Kenneth Walker. Let me get Kenny. All right, he's out of the first. Pushed him out of the first. Early two now. I think it's properly rated. Based it's, on what we've seen, you got to adjust. I mean... Yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know if we've gotten the fa- a it's fair not shake necessarily of, the, a fair shake bad. of what you've seen. From it's not, it's not necessarily yet. the lack of what he's done. It's just what the others have put down. You know, I think it's a testament to the other guys and showing what they've shown. Sure, is why I gotta, 
I got to he show me you can play in the NFL. Now maybe he still can. I still like him. I'm not going to cut bait. I'm not going to ship him off for nothing. I'm not going to take two twos. I'm going to hold out and see give him a chance. I got to give him some time. This is dynasty. Stick with your evaluation. He was a monster. Let's get the ball in his hands. But the other guys are putting shit down on the field. It looks fucking great. And I got to give it that due. So I guess I pushed him out of the first. I think I'm I'm holding on pretty strong. So some guys go around him. Obviously, you're taking Burks over Allen Robinson. Allen Robinson's about dead right See now. Ya. Uh, Eli- See ya, Elijah Rob. Mitchell or Burks? I, w- I could I could I could trade Mitchell for Burks. Yeah, I think I'm taking Burks there. Uh, Mitchell being on IR. If Mitchell's in there crushing with the Niners right now, doing what Jeff Wilson's doing, then you're probably sticking well, with that's Mitchell. That's the whole thing. You know it's I mean? just like, like, it's just like, is it is it Mitchell who was good or is it just the 49ers? Well, it's the run combination. Yeah, for sure. And but Mitchell's, Mitchell's explosive. Fucking good. I think Mitchell's a lot more explosive than Wilson is. Sure, yes, for sure. Mitchell's a good player, but he can't stay healthy. He's he can he can he can't even come into the season. Sample. David healthy. Montgomery or Burks? Money. No one's gonna like that. I'll yeah, stick. I'm sticking with Burks there. I'll probably stick with Burks too. Um, he never could tell. He couldn't sniff Burks with Monty even pre pre NFL no. season starting. This one, Lenny or Burks? Burks. I could get. Yeah, I don't understand I how. I don't understand how Keenan's going at wide receiver thirty. Now, have I, to be rebuilding there. If I if I thought I had a chance of winning, and Burks isn't helping me out, and Lenny can help me out, maybe we could finagle something. But Mike Williams or Burks? Mm. I'll stick with Burks. I've taken everyone over Mike Williams up to this point. Terry or Let me Burks. get Mike Williams. Terry or Burks? Terry McLaurin? Mm-hmm. Oh, Terry. He yeah. He jumped way up there. I did a little bit. Mike I'm getting a little, getting a little spiky. Um, <laughs> He's with speech impediment on it. Spiky. Traylon Burks. Christian Kirk or Traylon Burks? Christian Kirk. No, I'm sticking with Burks. Again, this probably isn't the worst. If you wanted to try to pivot off of, off of Kirk, you could probably try a to take plus. Kirk and... And with a little something else, and I don't think it's a deal that if you have that if you have, you're not you're not giving up Kirk, you're not giving Bob Burke straight up for Kirk. It's, no one's making that deal. Yeah, you know, everyone's have to. taking Kirk, keeping Kirk. No, I don't think, and I think from a straight value perspective, I think Burks has the higher value over Kirk. I think there is probably. If you have Kirk, a reasonable amount. Like, oh my god! I think there's fifty percent of your league that would that would be a deal that you would at least get a response to and have some trade negotiations. Sure, going. It's n- absolutely. It's not a it's not a fuck you offer. Yeah, which I get. Oh my god! Point, points in your lineup. So from many, Kirk. That, that league I sent you guys about that and that that so many bad offer. I got an email the other day. Would you trade a twenty three first for Kyler Murray? It's a one QB league. No, I just said no. Nah, bro. That's all I said. No. Anything got anything else on Burks? Man, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> got nothing. Let's get out of here. Get nothing for my man. It's a, it's a, it stinks because is it Rager or is it you know somebody who popped after? Yeah, uh, he's got to be better than Rager. He's got to be. I don't know. I don't have a good example of somebody who popped at like the second half of the season. Corey Coleman. No, no, that's not. That, that's, no, that that's, would be the opposite. That, that's Rager. <laughs> yeah, Rager popped. No, no. I'm the Corey Coleman Rager are the same player. Corey Coleman did show something. I'm saying, some is point. he is he Rager or somebody who popped in the second half of? Oh, the did season? pop in the yeah. second half. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I don't like a, a, obviously Odell Beckham Jr. because he missed the first part of the season because he had a hamstring. Is he Odell Beckham Jr.? That'll get some clicks. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's that's what we had done right there. Is Traylon Burks Odell Beckham Jr.? Find out. Twenty nine year week. old Odell Beckham or. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's GTFO. We'll just kindly go fuck ourselves out of here. We're going to eat some dinner at uh, 11. You haven't eaten dinner? I had a late lunch. Went to the dentist, couldn't eat for You should have had a brownie. Should have had a brownie. But I'm going to go. Uh, Shout out to Cassie. All right, y'all. That's my wife. She made brownies. You're giving out her government name? I didn't go last name. 
Cassie Wayne. <laughs> People definitely think my last name is Wayne. It's, it's not. My, it's my middle name. Jay's Wayne. Appreciate y'all for joining us. If you're on the YouTube, let me get a subscription and a like and a comment. Help the algorithm out, you know? Just say, what's up? Hit me with like a beer cheers emoji or some shit, you know? What is this, 2003? What the? What the? Never gets old. Neither does five star subscribing on the podcast. That doesn't get old either. Or a little five dollar holler over on patreon.com slash the FF Dynasty. Get access to the Discord channel. Send me a screenshot. DM me on the Twitters or the Instagrams or email me at the FF at gmail.com. Give me proof that you hit me with that five star review. I'll enter you into the contest to win a t shirt. I'm going to draw it next show, I promise. I got. I gotta tally it up. It's just so much effort going on over here, man. Just grinding. Maybe coming soon, the FF Dynasty OnlyFans page. <laughs> Keep getting hit up with those stupid bots on the comments. And I, I just, I can't not respond. I it's just, always like bronze just, and brunettes. I'm like, where are the fucking redheads? I like, just report them. <laughs> you report them? Yeah. <laughs> That's Facebook, right? I don't know if you can. Oh, yeah, you can absolutely do that. What are you, a cop? Are you what are you, a fucking cop? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a, a cop. Fucking cop. Uh, no, I report that. Get the fuck out of here with that. That's I do love funny. I do love reporting my my <laughs> high, like my high school friends like parents <laughs> on, on Facebook, Facebook whenever they're saying some fucking dumb political shit. That's all they go on there for. I I like what would be worse for them getting kicked off of Facebook, which they say they hate, but they really love. Oh, they love. Or, or actually arguing with him and being like, "Listen, <laughs> fucking potato salad, I know what's going on." And uh, there's nothing worse than talking to your parents like, "Oh, I saw this article on Facebook." I'm like, "Yeah." I immediately, immediately zone out. Immediately yeah. zone out. Sorry. Facebook was so fucking cool it's a little, when I was in school, like, like ten years ago. When, when I was in college, to your friends' parents, it came up, and then all of a sudden they opened it up to the world, and my mom was on Facebook, and I was like, "I guess I got." I was mad. All Later, oh, like, Facebook had a long ass run after they opened it up to non college kids before your mom was on there. Yeah, that's that's for sure. Long run, maybe uh, some years, not too many. Of them. Oh, a bunch, a of, bunch of years. Yeah, mom, your mom, it's been the I've last been like Facebook five for years. forever. Yeah, it's been a long time since I could do anything on Facebook. I mean, Facebook hasn't been cool in like ten years. So yeah. Maybe not that long. Let's get the fuck five out years. of here. Right. Appreciate y'all for joining us. Peace. Fuck Facebook. <laughs> <laughs>